Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We have a pretty big hoard. It's pretty bad with rats and uh, rat urine and feces and stuff like that, as well as the amount of stuff that's in this trailer. He is a dead little buddy. We found some drug paraphernalia in there. What is up guys, Nathan here. We have a pretty, pretty big hoard for you. It's just gonna be about two to three days. So the backstory is the property owner, she owns a lot of these trailers on the street. Um, she inherited them from her grandfather. Her grandfather had renters. So these renters are long-term renters. They've been here years and years. The grandfather didn't know about the, the renter that was in this trailer being a hoarder. It's pretty bad with rats and uh, rat urine and feces and stuff like that, as well as the amount of stuff that's in this trailer. So she inherited it. The lady moved out. Um, was still continuing to pay rent. She went inside, saw what it was. The lady no longer pays rent. She's trying to flip this trailer around so she can get a new renter in it. So come take a look with us. So this is the master bedroom that we're walking into here. It is pretty much chock-a-block full of garbage and whatnot. We're gonna have to get rid of all the mattresses, all the boxes, all the clothes. Uh, there's definitely evidence of rat infestation here, so if we're lucky, we won't find one. <laughs> Fortunately, the main entry isn't stacked up to the ceiling, so we actually have a little bit of room to move around. So kind of the game plan would be we're going to clear as much of this front room out and then we'll work our way to the back of the trailer. That way we have just area to, to work in and, and move around. And if we have some big items, we can move it around. Anybody's in the market for a good cheeseburger meatloaf recipe? I know a really good one. If you could just figure out what is where that big hole is, what used to be there, um, you could probably make a, a mean cheeseburger meatloaf. You know, New York bestsellers, uh, like microwave cooking recipes, and grandma's cooking, and kittens. Minerals, Jesus Marie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I found one of these really cool new vapes. Uh, I think it came out after like those little stick ones. You know, you just shake it and you like you just breathe it in, and it makes me get it makes my head feel funny. But I think it's the nicotine in it. All right, so as you can see, there is rat feces and urine on this. Some of it's just regular like gross pillow staining, but that's like rat urine right there. The rest of that is just regular old pillow staining, but that's rat pee. All right, guys, here's another episode of Nathan and Nature. We don't know what kind of nature it is yet. We are close to Miss Carol Baskins here. So maybe there's a tiger or a lion in here. I doubt it, that'd be kind of a small tiger line. But there is obviously a creature in here. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna find out. You ready? Let's do it. Oh, there's all kinds of creatures we see. 
Oh yeah, wow. So as you can see here, here's some of my friends. They, uh, they're they different colors and they're very old and dead. Um, we had a what used to be a chicken that is now soup. Um, another piece of chicken that's now soup. Uh, more chicken that's now soup. Um, and probably ground beef that's now soup. Let's see what creatures are in here. Oh, even more little crawly friends. There's so many. I'm keeping this collection as a zoo. It's a testament to my friends. We have the Enforcer. We have Sudden Impact. Magnum Force. A lot of Clint Eastwood classics here. Oh, good. Again. Nathan here back with Nathan and Nature. All right, so we have a rat hole in this couch. So as you can see on this job, there is rat feces, rat urine everywhere. They've been tearing through this hoard. It's gross. So what they like to do is burrow through stuff. There's a lot of foam. There's a lot of padding in here that can kind of crawl in and out. There's a wooden backer. There's like the metal springs and stuff. It's like a jungle gym for them. So as you can see right here, they're making their way through the couch. They chewed their hole in. We can see what's behind this couch eventually, but once we get there, it probably dug through the wall. They're probably crawling all around. So. Yep. So we have to get this big old couch on this really tiny door. So we're gonna have to do some finagling here and I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. Sometimes in life, it just requires a little bit of return to ape. You just have to go back to your animalistic nature and just completely rip your spinal column from the muscles and just pick up a TV for no reason other than just to prove that there's some semblance of human or lack thereof inside of you. It's an existential crisis that we're gonna be portrayed through me lifting this TV and hurting myself, if you're ready. Get it to the edge first. Step down. There we go. Anybody that was interested, that's what the inside of a big TV looks like. Hey guys, day two of this hoard in uh, North Tampa by the Big Cat Rescue. Property owner had a tenant living in this trailer. Then they back ownership of the trailer. What they found out it was it was in a horrible disarray. So what we're, they asked us to do is clean out everything. So follow us as we clean out this trailer. inside the bathroom of this hoard. As you see, it's state of disarray. There's stuff in the cabinets. There is stuff on the sink. We even have an aspirin bottle in the ceiling. 
you know, in case you're in the shower and you need need some headache and pain relief, I got gotcha. you. All right, it's gonna be a crazy one. Let's check out this toilet. No water. Yummy. these cabinets emptied out okay as you see there's presence of rats everywhere got these ones clear I got to get some of the linens out this is a cool little like laundry basket type of thing just put a liner in there and throw your stuff in there Ooh, look at that rat carcass looks like you got trapped underneath it I don't know if that's why they put the wood there like shove them in it in there or whatever but he is a dead little buddy guys we are inside the master bedroom we've already moved the bed that was here it was a queen size bed triple stack so box spring mattress on top of mattress but as you see there is a large amount of trash still in here okay all over we have multiple pieces of furniture we have a full closet here Just a bunch of clothes I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking why don't we donate the stuff the this is considered a gross filth condition we don't want to donate gross filth items to char uh, charitable organizations um, because it is something that we don't want to possibly contaminate somebody that might purchase it after them. We don't know the, the cleaning process. I'm sure they do a great cleaning process, but we don't want to risk it. All right. All right, I'm going to put it up on my gap. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Go right outside and not. She was laying in her bed and I called So we just moved the big dresser that was on this wall. Look what I found. So there's a dead rat right here and all the tissue. So what they do is they, they gather trash and debris and they nest. Nested in here, hoard happened trapped them in here wasn't able to get out ended up dying right here in this spot yummy Syringes. You can never mess with Karen when you just know people that have. Boy. Right. All right, guys. So as you saw, we found some drug paraphernalia in there. I am going to make sure that it is not reusable. I have motor oil here. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do is there's a syringe, a syringe in there. So now that everything is covered with oil and it, it, hopefully it won't be used again, I'm gonna grab that syringe. I'm gonna put it into a sharps container um, and I'm going to, to make sure that this stuff shouldn't and wouldn't be used again. Yeah. 
I don't know if I read that one. Yeah, you can't stand them. Guys, we're in the living room of this horde here. This was easily a level four horde. Follow me, I'm gonna walk you through the house, show you what we've done. So we took up the carpet in here, removed all the contents, made it where they can have a clean slate for a construction build back on this. Okay, if you come back over here, couldn't walk into the kitchen, the refrigerator was nasty, the stove was nasty, we removed all those items cleaned it out. They're gonna do a complete strip down of this interior and rebuild it back up so that they can make it a great new home for a tenant. This room, another room you could not even walk into. Okay, now I'm able to get in here. This actually looks like it would be a great room for maybe a young child to, to use. So um, just because of the size of it, maybe even an office space work from home type of thing, okay? Let me take you to the master, actually, we'll go to the bathroom first, okay? In here in the bathroom, cleaned up all the cabinets, cleaned the, t the tub space. There's a nice little um, space here. I don't really know what it's used for, but it, it's a nice little washroom add-on where it has a countertop. Again, we have that space where we can put in our laundry if we need to, okay? but the homeowner or the property owner told me that they're going to redo this and upgrade this bathroom make it a, a nice large bathroom okay and then our master bath bedroom here okay have a master bedroom everything is cleared all the rat feces are removed from here making it a nice new canvas for that property manager to rebuild Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.